Hello guys, I'm Parcheesy, or Parchy for short, and this is the first episode of the new series, Chocos Chirps. Let's get started. Before we start the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way, you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyways, back to the video. For Sona's wife right to make the phantom go around, it's kind of like the bread and butter. We all at least have one or more personas that represent who we truly are as people. Sometimes old designs can get a little outdated. Whatever the reason may be, how does one go about redesigning an old persona? There are five easy steps I'll guide you through to make it happen. Step 1. Species. Are you happy with your species? Or not? If you are, you can skip this step. But for those of you who are not, listen. Look around the internet for possible ideas. The internet is a vast place with different types of animals or possible hybrids you can create. Sometimes you can take a little quiz on what your spirit animal might be or just browse the internet or ask other people what animal you believe you think you are. You are bound to get an answer. Step two, color palettes. This is sometimes the biggest roadblock for many furries, including myself. It can be really difficult sometimes to be happy with a set color palette. There are tons of sites dedicated to help you choosing a color palette. Sites like Patalon or Color Hex dedicated to help you design your favorite persona. These sites are just so helpful to know what colors are really complement each other, and sometimes they're already preset for you or you can choose from a color wheel. Warning, do not put very many colors on your persona like a sparkle dog where there's like 20 bajillion colors if you plan on getting a fursuit. I think 3-6 to six colors tend to be a fair amount, so please don't go wild on these color things. Step 3. Doodle and Experiment After you're done with steps 1 and 2, do a few sketches in your sketchbook. I find sometimes looking through the internet, such as Google, your Twitter feed, for affinity or deviantart can be very helpful to look at what other people have done with their own characters. It can be very inspiring and help you create something much of your own. Please, please, please do not copy up of anyone's design to the T. It's bad. Bad, bad, bad. If you want to do this digitally, you can draw it yourself, or there are free line arts for reference sheets online, such as for Affinity or DeviantArt. You can use that in a free art program, such as GIMP or Krita, which you can find by Google. The link will be in the description below, just for a quick, quick link. Just make sure you credit the artist, too. That way, you're not stealing their line art outright or just make sure you read the rules. Also, keep in mind what key features you like about your old design and you still want to incorporate in your new design. So such as maybe your old design has like a lime green nose or a fur marking on the back of the head. If you really really like that design, keep it. You never know. Just experiment. Step 4. Reflect. This step is very important. Take a step back and look at the des final design. Are you happy with it? Just it really explains for itself, but it just take a while and see if you really are happy with it. If you are, you can move on to the next step. Lastly, step 5. Receive input. Sometimes it's good to get another set of eyes looking at your final work. Are the colors too much? Do they flow well? Are there too many markings? Does anything clash? Just go to a few people you trust and say, hey, does this look good? If you don't get the answer you want, like, are they bashing it, then move on to the next person. If you are happy with your design, then stick to it. It's your character. It's your design. Stick to it. Anyways, thanks. That's all, guys. I really appreciate you guys for support so far. This is my first episode of my new series called Chocos Chirps. It's anything about art and furries, so I hope to get a fursuit soon. So please comment below if this has helped you any or how you have been went about re redesigning your character. Alright, and see you in the next video and stay wild. We can make a wildfire get away.